Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are on a special series of artificial intelligence and, and robotics using Jetson Nano on Jetbot. Guys, we are on lesson number 30 and I am going to walk you through each and every lines of code for teleoperation, how it works and what are the libraries and stuff. Though it is self-explanatory, but I'm trying to, you know, coach you guys to give you some, some more additional information. All right, let's go to our browser. And what we need to do is go to jetbot.org. There you go. If you go to jetbot.org, go to the example section at the bottom, go to teleoperation, click on teleoperation. And then at the bottom of teleoperation, you can see open and follow teleoperation.ipynb notebook. Right click, I'm going to open in another tab. Let me just open this. There you go. It takes you to NVIDIA GitHub account for uh, AI and Jetbot. And this is the code which is exactly there in your Jupyter notebook installed in your jetbot as well so let's let's go through this guys so initially you know we are basically we are trying to import in this particular section if you see the there are three four lines of code at the beginning the first slot in this particular section of the code we are actually creating an instance for your ps3 controller okay uh, it's basically this will create a widget and in order to drive the jetbot motors in different directions and speed by using IPY widgets. So what is IPY widgets, right? So IPY widgets are also known as Jupyter widgets. Jupyter is an open source notebook. It's an IDE. It's a cloud-based IDE, which we are using, which is which comes bundled along with the jetbot operating system, which we, which we installed at the beginning, right? So, it's a pretty simple uh, widgets and these are interactive HTML widgets for Jupyter Notebook. And the IPython kernel which gets rebooted and restart as and when we restart after clicking this particular program after you run this program this will create the widgets right. So that's, that's the IPython kernel which is inbuilt within Jupyter. So the basically the notebooks comes alive and it, it becomes really interactive in front of your screen using these widgets. Uh, so basically the users like me and you, we gain the control of that particular data and can visualize changes in that data, whatever being captured. So basically the learning outcome becomes very fun and very interactive and colorful. That's where we use IPY widgets. Once you run the code, this particular section of code and press any button on your PS3 controller, right? So you, you just press any, any of this, any of these buttons you can see the controller like a soft widgets appearing on the notebook browser itself right so that's how this works now let's go to the next line of code which is you know from jetbot import robot right some of this i had gone through this in the previous lesson what is that robot as a class or an object right so what we are trying to do here is here we are, we are just importing a python library called trailets okay uh, so what the trailets does, which, which is nothing but a framework that lets Python class, which has an attributes with type checking and, uh, and that also dynamically calculates the default values. When, whenever there is a change in the position of, uh, you know, your joystick and stuff like that, or press any button, it dynamically changes the value. And this package also includes a mechanism to use the trailets for basically configuration and loading the values from the files or even from your command line, from your terminal, right? In case of Jetbot, the trailets allows us to attach the control mechanism, okay? It, it basically, you know, we are, we are just, whatever you are doing here physically, this will be attached to your widgets and, you know, remotely through the browser and you, you will be able to control that. So basically, we'll be using the Python dealing function for both left and right motors to control uh, your Jetbot. So that's how it is. And if you look at the next uh, section of the code, that is image equal to image dot widgets. It's nothing but, you know, uh, 
in this particular code we are just using the widgets from ipy uh, widgets library to build a camera video pipe it's basically we are building the pipe from the camera your raspberry pi camera which is in front of uh, for example along along with this kit this particular camera is called csi camera it's a it's a, it's, it's a raspberry pi camera basically and there are actually many widgets basically distributed within ipy widgets this particular library it's a python library that are basically designed to display your numeric values okay so that that's how it works uh, why numeric value you might be confused well that is where your width and height comes into picture you have to the system has to detect what is the width of the frame the image and what is the height of height of the frame and the width of the frame right so that numerical value it processes the, this particular widget uh, the library processes and sends the information back into your jets and nano uh, so basically these widgets exist for displaying the integers and floats and within the bounding boxes and unbounded within the image. So that's how this works. Now let's look at what the next code which is basically we are importing uh, Jetbot import camera, right? So this is again, it's, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Here we are trying to import a Python library called camera. It's, it's again an open source library and, and you know it's pretty easy to, it comes bundled along with your Jetbot uh, uh, operating system itself. So this particular library package provides a pure Python interface to your Raspberry Pi camera on the robot. So, so this camera has to be interfaced with the CSI cable, right? Which you connected, which I showed you how to connect to the CSI port of Jetson Nano. So this provides the interface basically uh, and, and also this module works uh, on specifically on Python 3.2 and above. So that's, that's the essential Python 2.7 is outdated, it's gone. In specific to Jetbot kit, we are using Raspberry Pi CSI camera, which, which you have, which needs to be basically detected using this library. So how do we detect that camera using this particular library? import camera right and then we are uh, trying to create an instance uh, so for example in this particular code we are actually creating the camera instance itself and then we set the call function to call the instance method which will create a new camera so which will populate the particular frame in front of you and then what are we doing we are going to then create from jetbot import bgr to jpeg so what is this all about? This is, in this Python code, we are just converting the blue, green, red frame captures into a JPEG image format using the Python inbuilt library and attaching that to the trailet of the, 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 the trailet uh, widget link, right? Which we created in the beginning of the section. This will get connected to that particular trailet widgets. So that's how this entire uh, stuff works. And rest of the things are, you know, pretty straightforward guys. Again, you are, you are connecting uh, your stop function uh, robot to the network if it gets disconnected sometimes your network your internet goes off right so what will happen to the bot so this particular unlink and delink will come into picture where it gets disconnected your heartbeat gets basically disconnected and stays along right your code will be safe even if you modify the code it will remain safe and then of course the next code it's pretty uh, again it's, it's a pretty straightforward where we are capturing some of the images through your uh, gamepad uh, button you know some of these buttons are configured in the widgets in such a way that you can click here take the image when the bot is moving you can just click again take the image click again take the image and start storing those images for the machine learning training purpose which we will get along in the future lessons in the upcoming videos i am going to show how to do that so this is basically about your teleoperation guys it's pretty straightforward and simple you can go through this explanation still if you don't understand you can always reach out to me and i will be happy to explain to you one-on-one -on -one or you know take a special class on the python uh, series itself so do stay tuned and enjoy building and jet boarding have fun bye bye